Hey, what's up, my fellow prodigies? Prodigy Jay here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm showing sure you guys the best audio settings that you can get with your mic, making your voice sound more professional and increase the quality of your videos by doing so. And the mic that I'll be using in this video will be the NW700 condenser microphone, which to me is a pretty good sort of microphone for about $30. Now, before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go subscribe and turn on notifications because I do like to upload quality videos for you guys to enjoy. And go follow me on Twitter because I do like to tweet out daily. Also, comment down below what you prefer to have for your audio settings because I want to hear what you guys have to say and because I do respond to most of my comments. And guys, if you can do me a huge favor and let's see if we get 30 likes in today's video because I would appreciate it and be sure to go watch this video fully to the end so you don't miss anything important and also if my voice sounds kind of different it's because I'm kind of sick so sorry if my voice sounds kind of stuffy at times but without a further ado let's get into today's video now before you start recording you need to do some steps so you can get the best audio possible from your microphone tip number one please turn off your fans or air conditioners in your room because your audio can get heavily affected by the sound of the wind caused by your audio to sound kind of bad in a way and if you say your room gets super hot when you record with no fans on just gotta suck it up because fans they really affect the quality of a video tip number two have a nice position for your mic which is really crucial when recording because if you get all like too close to your mic your audio will start getting all stuffy sounding and your audio will start clipping but if you start going too far away from your mic then the mic won't be picking up your vocals as good and it will make it sound like you're in a big empty room because of the amount of echo there. So try to find like the best distance possible for your mic that makes you sound clear and doesn't cause clipping. And for tip number four, make sure you have a good mic volume because if you talk too loud in your videos from your mic, it may cause clipping and if you talk too quiet in your videos, people won't be able to hear you as good. Now that we got those tips out of the way, I'm be using a small recording I decided to use as an example for this video. Now here's my voice without any effects on it. Hey what's up YouTube, Prada J here or you call me J and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like without my effects on it and it sounds like cancer. Now from that recording in comparison to my voice right now, there's a huge quality difference but either way, we're going to change it so the audio sounds as good in my voice right now. So for the first step in improving our audio, you want to download this program called Voice Meter and you just want to go to the two links in the description and download both the virtual audio cable and Voice Meter software. And when you're downloading these programs, make sure that you have a program like WinRAR to extract the zip files when you're done. So once you have the programs downloaded, just drag them onto your desktop and extract them both. And once they are both extracting, go into the VB audio cable folder and depending if you have a 32-bit computer, you have to open up the VB cable setup but if you have a 64-bit computer like me, you want to open up the VB cable setup 64. And once you open it up, you're going to have to go through the installation process of downloading drivers for this program which as you can see right here, I already have them installed so just go through the process and install your drivers. Once you install those drivers, go to where you extracted the voice meter program and open it up. And once again, you have to go through the installation process of this program, which as you can all see, I already have this downloaded onto my computer. So just go through the process and finish installing voice meter. And once that is done installing, you just want to open up voice meter. And right here, you want to change a hardware input to your mic, which may be named something else, depending on the microphone that you have. Then you want to make sure that you mute both audio inputs right here and also you have to have both stereo repeats activated so your voice levels are balanced. And the last thing you want to do is change the hardware output to the virtual audio cable that we downloaded earlier but if you want you can change it to audio device or audio point if it doesn't work. I usually have my hardware output set as audio point. And once that is all done, it's going to be time to change some of the voice settings. Now I will note that my settings are not going to match with everyone's preferences, but I do suggest that you go into the description and download the text file of my audio settings so you guys can have something to go off of when you're changing the settings to your liking. So make sure you play around with the settings to what you want your mic to sound like. So go to load settings and open up the text document that you downloaded and once you do that, you will have the exact same settings that I do. And when you want to record your microphone, make sure that you change your microphone input to the voice meter output. And this works with any other programs like um, Skype, Discord, or other applications that allow you to use your mic. Now that we got those tips out of the way, in Audacity, when you start recording, make sure you have voice meter running and also have at least five or more seconds of background noise. Now, this is going to be where you're not going to see anything because we're later going to be using a tool where it will move all background noise, if any, in your video. You just want to get your normal recording in and hit the stop button when done. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a pre-recorded audio that I recorded with just 
just voice meter. Hey, what's up YouTube, Prodigy here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. Now after listening to that, our audio sounds fine, but we can do some things that can make it sound a little bit better. Now first thing you want to do is highlight all your background noise, click on onto effects, go to noise reduction, and click on get noise profile. Once you do that, you want to copy the settings that I have for this and click OK. And what this will do is remove any background noise in your video and make the audio sound better. So if you listen to my voice now. Hey, what's up YouTube, Prodigy here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. You'll hear that there is less background noise in it. The next step that I like to do is equalization. Now with your audio highlighted, go to effects, then hit equalization. Now in here, we're going to be adding bass to our voice, making you sound more mature in a way. Now if you're a girl, you might want to skip this step because not many girls like to have their voice sound deeper. But anyway, you want to change the setting to bass boost. And at this bar, it's really your preference on how much bass you want in your voice. Like for me, I like to stick around from like 5 to 10 decibels because it works well for my voice. But with some people, you might want to add less or add more, depending on the type of voice that you have. And if you're not sure if you have the right amount of bass to your voice, you can just hit the preview button to hear what it sounds like. Hey, what's up YouTube? Prodigy here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my... After choosing your preferred setting, click OK, and soon you'll see that our vocals have gotten a bit thicker from the bass. Now we're going to be going back to equalization again to add trouble to our voice, so click on trouble boost, and again, the same thing applies, it's all about what you prefer, like for example, I don't like adding much trouble to my voice, so I usually have it super low, but it's all about your preference. Hey, what's up YouTube? Prodigy here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with... The next step I like to do is compression. Now what you want to do is head on over to effects, then click compressor. Now I don't mess with any effects except for the top one which the smaller you set the number the louder your voice will be set at, while well, the larger you set your number the more quieter your voice will be at. Now for me, depending on how loud I am in my video, I usually set it from negative 14 to negative 6. But this is really your preference and once you find a level that suits you, click OK. Now the next thing you want to do is normalize your voice so it will make your audio sound like even basically so go to effects click normalize and I like to say around negative 10 decibels but again you can change all these settings to your preference and click OK then for our final step go to hard limiter and copy the settings that I have then click OK and what this is gonna do is gonna help level out our audio at a certain point so all of our audio sounds even in a way like how we use normalize and once you do that, you're pretty much done with your audio. All you want to do is save your audio file and export it so you can later use it in a video editing software. And if you want to hear a comparison of my voice without effects versus with effects, here it is. Hey, what's up YouTube? Prada J here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like without my effects on it, and it sounds like cancer. Hey, what's up YouTube? Prada J here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. Now after adding all those effects including voice meter, your mic audio should sound more professional than it did before. So if you guys use the settings and do the tips that I taught you, your normal mic will sound 10 times better and improve the quality of your videos. And that pretty much wraps it up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video but if you guys can, drop a like I do appreciate the support and go follow me on Twitter cause I do like to tweet out daily. Also if you guys can, comment down below what your audio settings are like and if this video helped because I want to hear what you guys have to say and because I do respond to most of my comments and also guys, I want to say sorry for not uploading for like the past 2-3 to three weeks cause I was busy with school stuff and I was having PC problems since I recently built my PC last week. Which you can see my specs in the description if you want, but I do plan on trying to upload more for you guys. So if you want, comment down below what some video ideas you want me to do on my channel because I want to make videos that you guys would enjoy. But anyways, thanks for watching and let's see if we get 30 likes in today's video. Now subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.